The world of malaria in the near future is a very ambitious goal and efforts to achieve it have already been weakened by governments shifting resources from malaria control and elimination initiatives to fight COVID, to fight against COVID-19. Joining us via Skype now to discuss more on this matter is the Minister of Health and Social Services, Dr. Kalumbi Shangula. Very good afternoon to you, sir, and thank you so much for joining us. Good afternoon. Mm. Uh, firstly, uh, Doctor, is malaria control still enjoying the high priority it has in the past uh, in the face, uh, of course, you know, with, the, with, the, with the ongoing outbreak of COVID-19? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, malaria is one of our priority programs. Uh, it's being coordinated uh, uh, by the Directorate of Special uh, programs uh, together with HIV, AIDS, uh, tuber and tuberculosis. Malaria has been a priority program over the years and is still a priority program. Of course, uh, last year we had uh, experienced drought and uh, we did not experience much of uh, malaria in terms of the cases in, uh, and the numbers. But this year we had a very good rain and uh, we are now seeing an upsurge of cases of malaria in the northern belt especially. But as is always the case, uh, we prepare for the malaria outbreak, whether there will be drought or whether there will be good rainfall. So the preparation started in the previous year with the residual spray, and then of course, also with um, awareness rising among the public mm -hmm. so that uh, the public community can take also appropriate measure for personal protection mm. now, in order not to contract malaria. Now, we understand that pharmaceutical companies are said to have downscaled their production of tests for, for other diseases now that we are focusing, and, and they are now focusing on on the production of COVID-19 uh, test kits. Uh, how will this, will this somehow affect us in the efforts that, uh, uh, that are ongoing so far? We haven't experienced so far any shortage of uh, tests for malaria. We continue to test as uh, in, in the past. Uh, obviously, um, COVID-19 has become fashionable. Uh, it's a very uh, dangerous disease. Uh, a disease which has been declared by the World Health Organization as a disease of public health importance. And, and rightly so, uh, much attention has to be devoted to this uh, new disease. But all the other programs in our ministry, they are going on. And uh, as I have mentioned in the past, that it doesn't mean that when we now have COVID COVID-19 on the scene, the other diseases have taken lead. They are still with us, and all our other programs are ongoing in addition to the control measure against COVID-19. Mm -hmm. uh, now, fighting all these diseases like malaria and COVID-19 obviously uh, requires a lot of money. Do we have the financial and human capacity to maintain malaria control services while this fight, ongoing fight against COVID-19 uh, is still going on? Yes, as I have uh, alluded to in the uh, previously that the COVID-19 have received additional resources uh, to, to fight it, but it does not mean that these uh, resources were taken from other um, important diseases like malaria, uh, tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS. Uh, lastly, uh, we've seen that a lot of people, when, when, especially when the outbreak started uh, in the beginning, a lot of people were, were getting very uh, scared and thinking that they, had, you know, probably they were developing similar uh, symptoms in, in relation to COVID-19. Uh, uh, malaria also somehow has a close similarity in terms of uh, the symptoms. What is your advice to people who might think that they might be coming down with something and what must they do? 
Well, uh, I think the signs and symptoms of malaria, they are well known by the communities, by the public, because malaria has been with us all the years. And we have been raising awareness among the public, among the community, what are the signs and symptoms of malaria. We have also educated the public about the signs and symptoms of COVID-19. The main similarity between the two is that uh, of high fever. But otherwise, malaria has got its own specific um, uh, signs and symptoms. And COVID-19, when one look at the totality of the symptoms in order to come to the conclusion that you are dealing with uh, COVID-19, this is mainly a high fever. Then you have uh, the uh, involvement of the respiratory tract, which is not characteristic of malaria. So there are distinctions between the two diseases. But as you rightly said, we advise anybody who feel uh, that is not unwell, for whatever reasons, is advised to approach our health facilities for that a definitive diagnosis can be made and the appropriate intervention can be undertaken. All right, Dr. Shangula, thank you so much for your time. And uh, uh, thank you also to you and the entire team for the great job that you're doing so far. We wholeheartedly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. Awesome. Pleasure. And that was the Health and Social Services Minister, Dr. Kalumbi Shangula, shedding light on the fight against malaria, saying that there's nothing to worry about and that the country is well prepared for any outbreak.